Okay, so it is January 4th. Ken's is showering, so if you hear something in the back, I will try to be loud enough to speak. So I am officially 10 days overdue, and they don't usually let you go over that in my area anyways. I'm not sure if there's different rules for different places. My doctor gave me another option if I wanted to delay it because induction wasn't something I had wanted to do, but I decided to just get it over and done with. But she's been so great, so very thankful for that. I just got a call not that long ago, 15 minutes ago, and asked when I could come in. I'm basically just trying to update and rush and get ready before we have to go. I've had two membrane sweeps and I've tried everything I could possibly do to try to induce labor naturally, but this baby is stubborn. And my second membrane sweep was actually pretty effective in starting some of the early labor symptoms, but then it stopped. So at this point, I'm just trying to let go and let God just be in control and I know that he's looking out for us and caring for us, so I'm trying to find peace about that. We got to the hospital about 9.45ish, and they checked and monitored baby for a while, just to make sure they were doing good. And I just got induced, and it is 11.30. When they checked me, I was two centimeters dilated. I was able to dilate one centimeter since my last doctor's appointment. So a little bit of progress. Now it's just a waiting game to see how fast things are going to progress and if I'll be sent home or not. It is now 1 p.m. They just unhooked me not that long ago to give me a little bit of freedom, I guess, so I can move around. I'm gonna eat something, maybe try to take a walk, but I'm having a lot of pain down the back of my leg. So I'm just sitting on this exercise ball right now staring at this gorgeous view. Hopefully, once I just sit down for a little bit, my leg can just relax and I'd love to be able to go for a bit of a walk. I just wanna allow gravity to help with anything. I was getting really, really crampy when I was laying down, so I just want things to progress and happen. So, at least if I'm sitting on a ball and bouncing on a ball, that helps. But I'd like to be able to walk and move around a little bit have a little bit of freedom. They're gonna hook me back up and monitor baby for another hour, I think, and then see what happens from there. And if things are just kind of chill, then I guess we're gonna go home. And if I start having contractions and you know things progress, I can come back. But if not, then I'm supposed to come back about 24 hours later. And then I think they start on the oxytocin, so things will get really real then if they have it before then by itself. I just hope that this doesn't take long. And that is my view from where I'm sitting right now. It's beautiful. Okay, so we went home for a bit, and it's been about, um, I don't know, two and a half hours, and I'm having such pain, I'm not getting a break, so we're heading back to the hospital. Um, and of course, it's rush hour, it's 5.30, and then we just hit a train, and it feels like the world's longest train. Oh, I'm going, oh. because I can't function, I won't be able to sleep. Okay, that's all I can do for now. Oh. 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 <laughs> you want to give an update? <laughs> 
talk. What's the update? I got here at like just after 5.30 and she checks me in about four to five centimeters now and she took out the cervidol which is the induction method they use oh, and I'm not getting a break and I'm shaking but it won't be long. Are you okay to push on your back? Yeah. I'm gonna try. Yeah. Big loud noise here. Oh, okay. I'm gonna lift up your still feet. Yeah. Danielle, you're doing so well. We're gonna help you with pushing. I know you're gonna do great today. You're ready to meet this little one. Do we know if this is a girl or a boy? No. Yeah. What do we think it is? No idea. <laughs> Set it up so that it gets some of it without me yeah. holding it. Oh, she made it! 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 Oh, she Yes, yes, oh yes, Two. Oh, it's so painful. Yeah. Okay, let's meet this little one. Oh, yes. good job. Yes, yes, yes. Eight. Good job. Seven. Seven. Good job. Six. Five. Good job. Five. Good job. Five. Yes. Five. Yes. Five. Burning. His head is just sitting right there. Or is it here? She? We don't know yet. We don't know yet. Oh, it's oh, burning! Yay! Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, you lied to me. Oh, you lied to me. Oh, my God. 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 Oh
that's a whole journey in itself but so blessed but so tired <laughs> poor girl had to get her foot pricked before every feed i don't know if i said that already and so her poor feet look so bruised and and pricked and I feel so bad for her. He just did the last one like an hour ago, so finally done that, hopefully for good. And now she's super sleepy, of course. Pretty soon, honey. Pretty soon we can go home. It is now 10.30 and of course, little girl has been sleeping almost all morning. Oh, that was a sad look. We got most of everything ready to go. Oh, Ken's dead. Hoping to head home soon. We're gonna do one last feeding with the nurse before we head out. And then we're going home, which is crazy. Oh, and the doctor's gotta check up on me one more time. I'm gonna have to keep her up during the day more than just let her sleep so that we can both sleep through the night. All her checkups were really good, so we are super thankful and super blessed.